good morning to you and another lovely day on the allotment and I'm down today planting um, I've got three trays of mixed brassicas that I'm planting and doing some tidying up and I've got some lettuces I think um, and I'm putting up a frame because I've got a number of peas to bring down in a couple of days time to plant these three trays there's only two here there's uh, one over the by the shed of mixed brassicas that for an early sowing they really should have been in a week or so ago but um the wind was so bad i couldn't plant them when i brought them down so here we go again let's give it a go today this is where i'm planting the brassicas and some of the ground has been prepared and some of the ground still has the field beans in um, and these have been great because you can take off the tips Oops. like this and eat those and they're delicious stir fried steamed or however but i'm going to take out the tips and then cut them down just below the surface below the surface down here uh, the green will go on the compost and the reason for that is underneath are lots of nodules that beans or legumes collect and if you cut them down before they crop then it holds the nitrogen in the soil and brassicas really like nitrogen rich soil um, but if you cut them after they've cropped like after broad beans then the nitrogen is released to create the broad beans so you lose some of that or at least all of that nitrogen storage so I shall be prepping this area for the rest of the brassicas but for now, I'm going to plant up that end. We're not due any more frosty nights, so I'm going to take the fleece off these lettuces and onions. And you can see how well they've done. They're really good. Um, I ran out of lettuces to interplant with these uh, onions. So I brought down a tray and I'll just finish this bed I'll finish this bed off with the interplanting I'm not going to cover it with fleece now I've checked the night temperatures are quite warm and they can tolerate the, the chill these are moon red I'm going to pop in here um, and they are little gem type lettuces uh, so they will be out long before the onions leave the space so it's an intercrop for us to get some delicious young early lettuce so I've dipped the holes all along here and I just pop in the plug plant like that give it a little push and that's it that's all I need to do very quick way of planting and mastered or a really quick a really quick way of planting and the technique I picked up from Charles Dowdy um, at first I didn't get on with it but now oh, I can't be without it I'm on plot three and uh, what I'd like you to do is to clear this patch and weed it. You cut the broad beans just below the surface but leave the roots in. You can take the tips of the broad beans and add them to a stir fryer or steam them uh, and then put the rest on the compost or if you don't want to do that just put the whole lot on the compost. So weed this area. Thank you. Job one. I'm just cutting the raw beans and you just push them to one side 
like that so you can see the roots. Get your knife and just chop them below the soil like that and just leave the rest of the roots in and there'll be lots of nitrogen fixing roots down there and obviously pick off these beautiful tender tips for stir fry. Yum. Two crops in one. Oh gosh, it's turning out to be a little windy day. I don't know whether that's just because I wanted to plant my brassicas. Uh, but anyway, it's done. So I've got two rows of um, mixed uh, broccoli. Some of them are calabrese and some of them are tender, tender stem. And then I've got a row and a half of cauliflower. Uh, some of them are yellow cauliflower and some of them are white. And then I've got a row of each of red and white cabbages. And I've decided that that's probably enough because it's taken up quite a lot of space on the allotment and I've got other things to plant. I've got some kale as well, which I'm going to plant somewhere else on the site, not just here. Um, as I want to finish clearing this part for some carrots and parsnips and maybe some celeriac. But I need to get some more crops in here, so that's enough for today. Hello, today I brought down my climbing peas. I've got three beautiful trays looking really, really healthy. I've got two of alderman, which are potting peas, and one of a French one name that I can't remember or pronounce, and they are mange too. So I'm going to put all of these in today. It's the evenings are not too cold. I can't see any really frosty nights or very cold nights. Plus the fact they've been out in the cold anyway, so they're well hardened off and they will be fine. But it's great to start getting things in the ground. But like always, don't be too ambitious or speedy because we still could have a frost. So no tender plants uh, yet. So these are the mange two in now and they look really good and I've put these cages around it here. I'm going to put some canes in just to hold them there and that's to stop the pigeons from pecking them and eating them. And the variety is called, can you see that? That's the variety. They're maybe not the biggest yielder but the mange two are really big and they're delicious but actually I like the flowers it's a sort of pinky purpley color and they look so lovely on the plot when they're in flower so they're in now and uh, I've given them a good water after planting this row of alderman podding peas and I planted both sides the fence there's some mesh up just to stop the pigeons eating them I had some left over so what I've actually done is I put a double half row here as well of the ordman and there's some space here and this is for my second sowing of the uh, mange to pea so I that will be, I haven't sown them yet, so I'll sow them in the next day or two. So they'll be planted probably about mm, maybe four weeks, three weeks, four weeks, depends. Um, so they'll go here. So that's good. So nothing I've planted to date has is not frost tolerant. So even if it gets a mild frost, the peas, the brassicas, the onions, lettuces, etc. They will all tolerate a small frost. So 
my tender plants are not going in quite yet but quite soon the purple sprouting broccoli is coming to, into its own uh, that little bit of yellowing there is where the net rubs on the flowers so I've taken this whole stem off but you can see there's absolutely tons coming along and this will keep us in purple sprouting broccoli for a while oh, it's great I mean the wind got a lot of the plants and the uh, they got planted late I mean they didn't really have a very good time but they're coming true and giving us a wonderful crop so I thank them very much and this is a variety called claret I hope you've enjoyed the vlog and so wherever you are whatever you're doing happy gardening bye